And I want to address address this. Shit, we address it. Address it. I'm addressing shit. I'm going to address it. I'm going to address it. I'm going to address it. I'm address it. When you get hits from people in the Netherlands and from our brothers and sisters in South Africa. South Africa. Never. And they're saying, we're over here hurting for you, sister, to watch that you got to keep proving yourself to your own community. How much more proving do you have to do? And what happens is, for the brothers and sisters that feel like, oh, shut up and sit down, I, Sydney, and the ones that get it, we have to fight for you even harder. Yeah. We've got to fight for you even harder. See, there are people that are saying, oh, Monique, you disrespected Lenard <coughs> when you did the Breakfast Club. Because when you didn't think the tape was rolling, you said he was the man that walked his wife into the master's house and then came back and got her. No, I didn't respect that, brother. All I said was the truth. And folks were saying, well, you never answered this question. Can you sell out an arena? Probably not. And I don't say that with no fear, no nothing. That's some new shit that, just, that, that, that has jumped off recently. Tell me the arena Richard Pryor sold out. Tell me the arena that Eddie Murphy sold out. Tell me the arena. So this is something that's brand new. And now, if you cancel out arenas, you don't deserve to, be, to get the same respect. It's like, y'all, we keep changing the finish line. And when you got scared niggas that say, I want to make sure I'm in good, and I want to make sure they like me, I'm going to say what I need to say to make it look like I don't agree with Monique. I get it. That's why for me, for your wives, your daughters, your mamas, your grandmamas, your aunties, we're going to keep standing. And we're going to keep fighting. Because if not, guess what? When we get to the other side of history, our babies will still be having the same goddamn fight. And there's a level of respect you have to ask yourself. Does Lenard, a.k.a. Charlemagne, have when you got a real G out there named Master P that got to check him because he's speaking about one of his artists who has a fat ass? Is that how with that? Yeah. Who has a fat ass and Master P got to check him to say, hey, man, that ain't how we do. See, that's a real G right there who respects women. And despite the fact of, you know what they saying in hip hop and this, that, and the other, at the end of the day, You've got to be careful about who you're taking your food from, who you're getting your spiritual information from, because this is not about cash as much as this is about consciousness. Mm, let's go to the line. And that should really explain everything. And for everybody who keep piling on and piling on and piling on, let me tell you something. She was on The View. And when she was on The View, it's one of their highest rated shows. Hmm? Hmm? When Monique was on The Breakfast Club, that was the largest show The Breakfast Club has had in a very long time. It's done about three million in views in climate. Hmm? 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 So, you had many artists on your show who you deem as important, relevant, happening now. Right? Don't you think all those artists that's happening, popping, jumping off right now, and Monique closes your show out and outdid them? So how could you ask her about her relevance and what she should be demanding? She should be demanding a check for y'all for making y'all show pop. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all should be cutting her a check right now. Definitely. Check should be in the mail. So y'all should be sending her some roses. Sending her an apology letter and saying thank you, Moni. You really helped us get a bump. So, with that being said, 
We cue the music. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm out.